Hi folks! Right, this video, odds and sods, because I didn't really go out and find anything this week. Well, I did, but not a lot. Um, so it's odds and sods, really. There's some charity shop stuff, there's some bought stuff, and there's some stuff that I already had. You may have noticed, you probably think, I recognise that. Yeah, that is I probably recognise that from the, the video, a little bit at the beginning, a little bit at the end, but yeah, it's what, not what the video is about anyway. It's one or two odds and sods. Went to town today, I get a few bits off Amazon, and I use, uh, sometimes if I'm going out, I don't want to stick around, I'll use Amazon pickup points, where I can drop into my local big, supermarket buy 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 uh have a coffee and pick it up from the bank of little cabinets there and it was this you're probably not gonna like it i like it it's a dvd i'll see if i can put a picture up that will look a bit better Some of you may have seen clips of this on uh, YouTube called uh, Angel A, which works out Angela, Angel A. Um, I haven't seen it all, but what I can make out is the, the two meet up on a bridge one morning. I think the, uh, the man's got loads of troubles in life and he's probably thinking of taking a dip. And she comes along and changes his life. Um, lot, there's no full film on YouTube, but there is clips of it, and there's some flipping uh, nice clips. Um, so I'm not going to go in too much of that, uh, but it's something I've really, really wanted. So I'm going to flipping enjoy that, because um, a lot of it reminds me of a lot of me. Um, not that I was thinking of jumping off a bridge like, but, um, yeah, it does. It's French, uh, it's in French, uh, English subtitles. So if I can't read, I'm buggered. Luckily I can. Right, other bits today. <coughs> Poundland, I normally go in there and I've bought one of these before. Um. Not a lot of cop, you'll say, but then again, it's for gardens. Da -da, it says garden on it. So, I suppose you can do whatever you want to do with it, with a garden. I suppose you can carry bits and bobs. And it's really well made because it's slipping falling to bits. It just means I've got to fix those staples flick his staple together. Anyway, uh, they're a pound. Uh, it probably looks bigger than it actually is. I'll bring it there. It's pretty small. It is wood. But I I like them because they're just the novelty. So I haven't got a garden, so it won't go in the garden. Um, I use them as a novelty container. I suppose you could cover that if you wanted, but part of the novelty and here's one I made earlier quite a lot earlier sits in the kitchen actually and you can see there's a mixture of tea bags and herbal tea bags and coffees and different drinking chocolates sachets bags Big ones. So, yeah, you can uh, make them novel. Uh, with this one, I don't think I will be doing it, but when I went out today, it's market day, 
uh, I usually go on a, there's a stall there, sell sweets and cakes and everything, and I usually go flipping ballistic, but in saying to myself, you know, flipping, just calm down a bit. But they do sell good stuff. Um, like for a pound, got two bags of, uh, they're not Mars bars, they're uh, bites, so they're little tiny bites like Mars. So that was just a pound for those. And the other thing I got was a Galaxy Duet. Three of those for a pound, which is cookies and cream. So, just to give you an idea, something like this, you can fill up to here with chocolates. And you can have a cup of tea and a chocolate. Now, it's just, I think, it's a nice little novelty thing. Uh, especially for the kitchen, you, you can go and buy expensive bowls to put stuff like that in and uh, goodness knows what, things that you have hanging around the kitchen that could be, you can put fruit in it, fruit bowl. But for a pound, it's wood, it is solid wood and it's, uh, it's a novelty. So yeah, I bought that DVD, that. Um, did I buy anything else today? I did, but I'll show you in a minute. Before that, so if you hang around, you'll see these bits that I bought today, which I really like, which probably you can help me to bloody figure out what they are. But today, I was looking through this little box that just, I'm a sucker for little wood boxes and that. That's a really nice wood box, got studs in it, metal studs, it's really solid. I don't know where half the stuff is, but I opened it up, and in there was this, which I bought quite a while back. Um, Bluetooth and that was definitely out, but um, for some reason I just like this, uh, so I bought it. You can uh, hang it on your belt or stick it in a handbag if you've got an handbag or whatever. It's a nice little handy speaker. And uh, what you do is, it's like a ball. You just twist it, take the top off with a... And there's the speaker. And that there is... Uh, needs to be wet you need to wet it a bit but it's sort of tacky so you can stick it to your window or whatever I'll sort of give you an idea how it works like I say it's not Bluetooth so you have to do all this rigmarole uh, plug it in Turn that little thing on. On. Oh, it's just, oh yeah, it's got a light. I just think it didn't have a flipping light. Old iPhone that I use for my MP3 player. So I am actually going to, once I get into it, I'm going to play something that's copyright free. Otherwise, it'll bloody tell me off. So, if I turn that on, you you would you'll hear that, but that's turned up pretty loud. So that's about halfway. So that's what you hear. But if you're travelling about and there's a box of uh, coffee bags. And if I get that, I don't know if you'll notice a difference. That 
that's just putting it on a box of coffee bags. You can use that, you can stick, like I said, you can stick it to your window, it'll vibrate your window. Uh, plastic food container. Anything that will turn it into a fully fledged speaker. I better turn that off now. So now I'll turn off. So yeah, I loved it because it's that little tiny thing there. But if you get it right and you stick it on a, that like said, your window pane or anything like that, it, it vibrates the old flipping thing and you get a pretty good bass sound from this little orange golf ball. Anyway, that's that. That was just something I come across today that I thought, yeah, I might just show you that. And actually, while I'm at it, I have actually got a Bluetooth one. And that is a flipping monster. Um, if I, It's not charged up, but if it was, mm -hmm. I played music through it. And there we go. And I put it on that coffin, coffee table. You would hear a big bass speaker. It's flipping. It's awesome. Plus, as well, it is tacky. So theoretically, you should be able to put it on a window. But I just have a feeling after vibrating for about flipping five minutes, that's going to get clunk. So it's better that way up. Now the main bit of this uh, uh, video is these three little things I bought today. Um, I'm not sure what the hell they are, maybe you'll know. Um, first one, let's take the little sticker off. This cost me £1.29. I don't know why £29. But there it is. Now, when I saw them, I thought little. Um, Perfume bottles, probably put perfume in. I have got one or two, and you, you, you ladies know you sort of undo the top, and then there's a little spiky bit. You just, this is lovely, isn't it? Or oh, sort of. But this is the dilemma. There's that bit, and that bit does twist off. Now. The dilemma is that that, which you won't be able to tell, I can, but all the way through there, or oh, you might be able to just see a little flash of white, if you're lucky. Woo -doo -doo. Well, I bloody saw it. Never worked when it wasn't. There you go. There's an hole all the way through that. So, do you put your favourite perfume in there and waste it by putting that on and it sits there in your boudoir with the smell rising up out the top and you go, my boudoir smells beautiful or do you fill it full of uh, your favourite uh, essential oil it does the same, the smell rises up out there. It's just that little tiny hole in the top. So, stand, bottle, top, with hole in it all the way through. Big hole there for something to go in. If you know what it is, leave a message because to be honest, unless I come off here and Google till goodness knows what, I don't know what that is. Um, it'd be just my bloody look if it's some sort of sexual thing, wouldn't it? That'd be just, just bloody handy. Here's number two. I'll take this one off. <clears throat> this one was one pound forty nine. It's got the little stand again. 
the little glass jar that I think is really flipping nice. And uh, again, it's a similar type top, again with the hole in. Uh, not so long this time, if you can take that off. There's the. Now, if you look at that in the light, just around here, near the top, there's a sort of brownie coloured. Can you see it? There's like a stain line, like something's been in there and probably just stained at that level. So, folks, it obviously has something in it but it has a hole, so perfume um, evaporates because the, there must be a certain amount of uh, alcohol in it. Um, that's why it smells. So folks, what the hell is it? That's number two. Here's the third one which cost me the grand total of 199 it's going up in it it's around about five pound just under five pound the whole lot again the base is slightly different the bottle is different again it's really bulky and it's got these lovely little scroll lines uh, indentations which is really nice um, again there's the top there's the hole a little bit shorter again hole all the way through and I'm assuming that nothing actually went on there because all three of them hasn't got one chances are if two had been lost one would still be there so folks, one, two, three. So if you have any idea what these are specifically, um, let me know because I really, really don't know. I just saw them in the shop, I looked at the price and I thought that's a bloody good price. Um, and I thought I'm having them um, just that one looks a bit to me uh, but yeah um, must have a, a foreign influence of sorts um, there's nothing on them to tell you where they come from They will be going somewhere amongst my stuff anyway, but if they've got a name and what they actually do, that will be a hell of a bonus. <laughs> oh dear, I have some bloody touch there. <laughs> so folks, um, so as a normal for this year, don't forget down below there's the, uh, the link to uh, Sophie Calendar. Uh, so bear with us for for this year. It's a it's a bloody good cause. It, it's going to help lots of people over the years. So that said, have fun, folks. Don't do anything I want. Sun's out. It's fairly warm. Then it's fairly bloody cold. <laughs> At one minute, bright sunshine, and I'm stood at the shop. Well, the stall buying that chocolate. What the heck is that? And I'm getting bombarded with bloody hailstones. <laughs> Look, flipping hailstones. <laughs> Would you believe it? See ya.